Okay, so now that your screen looks like this, this is where things start to get complicated and things can go wrong much easier. As long as you've done all the steps before, which is finding it, downloading it, saved it in a safe place, finding your bin folder, deleting your everything that's in your like the dot minecraft area re installing it all just by loading the game up and now your jars should be open so your zoms mod pack you should have opened with Wimra, and your dot minecraft you should have opened with Wimra. so they both look so your screen looks like mine is now the first thing you want to do is on your dot minecraft or your minecraft jar should i call it you'll have a folder called meta inf you're going to need to delete this if it's deleted great if it's not there, great, you don't have to worry about it, but you need to make sure it's deleted, otherwise you'll get a black screen. And the next thing you're going to need to do is... Um, you need to go into the... You've got, on your Zoms mod pack, this is why I've got my screen half and half, on your Zoms mod pack you're going to have two dots at the top, which takes you back to where you go, you don't even need to click that. Source, config, and classes. The source folder you don't need to touch, you just don't need to do anything with it, it's just there. The source folder, if you know modding, that's you should be touching that. It's got loads of gobbledygook gibberish that I can't even I don't understand. No not many people can understand. But you need to go into the classes area uh the double click on the classes folder. In here you see lots of dot class files, and you should see the similar in your dot in your Minecraft jar as well. So what you need to do is you need to highlight all of these, he says, go away, um, you need to highlight all of these class files excluding the two dots at the top and then just simply drag them over and drop them into your minecraft.jar. You should then get this little dialog box thing pop up you just need to hit OK. This has now put all of these classes into there which is basically the mod itself. You now want to, on back on the Zoms mod pack folder, you need to double click the two dots at the top and go back. So you get back to the starting screen, so you're back to where we was earlier. This is the end of step 3, this is a short step because it's quite a complicated step. Now move on to step 4 once you've caught up to this position.